Hey there, Disc Golf friends. Thank you for hitting that play button. And please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button too. Today, Black Kite is bringing you a course from Fort Worth, Texas, Greenbrier Community Center. This course is pretty open and fairly long. It does, however, have some technical tricky holes. There is a creek that you will have to throw near and over on a few holes. There is also one hole that has you throwing over a pond. Also, apparently the fence around this course is government property, so be careful not to throw over them. Make sure when playing this course to bring a map or U-Disc to help you navigate it as there aren't any T signs here. There are two sets of T pads, but only one pin location for each hole. This course is good for beginners and up. With all that being said, we rate this course 3.3 stars out of 5. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the Black Kite drone experience. Hole 1 is open off the tee, and most of the way to this pin. There are trees on your right, however, that keep you from throwing a low right to left shot. This basket is guarded by low hanging limbs. Hole 2 is an open uphill shot off the tee. Most will want to throw either a straight or left to right shot to this guarded basket. Hole 3 is another uphill open shot to a wide open basket. Be aware though this pin sits on the edge of a hill. Hole 4 is a very uphill open shot to an open basket. Hole 5 is a downhill right to left shot to an open basket. Be careful as this basket also sits near a hill. Hole 6 has you throwing across the creek through a couple of trees. Most will throw a left to right shot to get around the huge tree that overhangs the fairway as the basket sits behind it and is open. Hole 7 has you throwing between the fence and the tree lined creek to a pin that is back across the creek. Most will want to throw something straight to a pin high location and approach from there to this open basket. Hole 8 is back across the creek and you must decide whether to throw over the trees or through the gaps in them. This basket is nestled up to a couple of large trees and is guarded by their low hanging limbs. Hole 9 is a short uphill shot to a basket that is guarded by one little tree. Hole 10 is an open tee shot off the tee. You can go to the left or the right here. This basket is guarded and sits on a hill. Hole 11 is a downhill open shot to an open pin. But be aware, this basket sits right next to a steep bank that leads to the creek. Hole 12 is an uphill open shot to an open basket that also sits next to the creek. Hole 13 is a very interesting hole. Most will throw something pretty far to the right and let it fade back left, staying as far away from the creek as they can. If you go for this in one, you'll have to throw something on a right to left line that will cross the creek as this basket sits on the other side of the creek on a steep rocky hill. Hole 14 is very narrow and has you throwing right next to the creek again. Be careful as this hole is not forgiving at all. This basket is up the hill a ways and is open. Hole 15 has you throwing over a small pond to a basket that is behind a couple of trees and is open. Hole 16 is a straight shot that starts as a low ceiling and then opens up. You'll want to be careful not to throw over the fence on your left. This basket sits in and under a couple of trees. Hole 17 is a long dog leg to the left. Again, be careful not to throw over the fence on your left. Most will throw a right to left shot towards the pond, then approach from there to this open basket. Hole 18 is an open shot to an open basket, but be careful, it is close to the pond. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing.
We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars, or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars, under the stars. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by Black Kite. If you love what we are doing, please be sure and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to click those like and share buttons. And if you would like us to film your local course, please add your comments below. Let us know which ones.